everyone dad here melvin here uh i'm here to do a video today about what's been going on in my oh boy i'm like talking over myself what's been going on in my life um i haven't posted a video in a couple of days it's been almost a week and uh, i just had a lot of stuff going on and i feel like i needed to make an update to let everybody know what's going on what's going on in my life if anybody's even interested in that uh i just came from working out so i'm a little amped up my hands are a little shaky because uh, i was going kind of hard but um what's been going on um i had the whole thing with the babysitter um i had to find a babysitter for our daughter and um i wanted to make sure that it was the right person and you know we had to meet the person meet him a couple times it's somebody that my uh, mother knows um and we met her and she's been here a few times watch the baby and uh it's great it's worked out great and i uh, you know it's really important that you find a babysitter uh, that you're comfortable with, that you can trust, and even and even then, you still need to be mindful and watchful. But it brings peace to me in my heart. You know, it brings me joy and happiness to see like my daughter happy and comfortable with the babysitter that she has. It's like it's a peace of mind that I can't even you almost can't even put a price on it. You know, so we had to find a babysitter, had to do all the stuff. Mom went back to work, so it's a whole new dynamic for us, a whole new dynamic for me. Um, you know, um, I'm going to be watching the baby more when I'm off from work. So I'm going to be a lot more busier. And uh, also I had a friend that I used to work with, a coworker, and uh, a friend of mine's father. It's the same person. It's a friend of mine. And I know his daughter, he, the, the dad passed away. So I just want to say rest in peace to Pais Nwanko. Um, great guy, very respectful family guy. And now that I'm a dad, I'm a family person, I respect that a lot more. I, you know, I kind of look up to that before I didn't have that perspective. Now, now I really do. So rest in peace to him. I went to his funeral, paid my respects, um, which I think is, you know, paying your respects to somebody that you know or that you knew uh, or anybody that's passed away is, uh, is really important. You know, my dad passed away and I never got to pay my respects. He was in another country. So, um, it's kind of weird when somebody passes away, especially close to you and you can't pay your respects because in one, like I've had people that passed away and you go to their funeral, like my best friend, one of my best friends. And, um, you know, it was very surreal seeing him in the coffin and I cried and I cried, you know, but I got that release. I think it's like a release that you need to do and to say your final goodbyes with my dad. I didn't get to say that final goodbye. I didn't get to um, bury him. I didn't get to do any of that stuff. So it's really weird because it's like it's an unclosed chapter in my life. Like I didn't get to say goodbye. It's like still lingering in my mind all the time. And uh, it's something that, I mean, even if you do say goodbye to the parent that passed away, of course, it's always going to be on your mind. But there's just something about somebody you love passing away and not saying being able to say goodbye to them not being to be able to see that person for one last time for a proper send-off uh it really sucks you know um <clears throat> so i'm gonna be making more videos i am gonna be forcing myself and making time even though it's a little bit harder because um of the stuff that i have to take care of with my family you know and i've never had that feeling before i went from like partying going out being careless to i mean i was always kind of i was always responsible but i've never been as responsible as i am now uh and i have people depending on me i never really had that feeling before i have a family depending on me i have my daughter and mom you know depending on me i mean i, I wouldn't say my mom's like depending on me like a dependency but you know you know what i mean like family we depend on each other you know um so it, I just wanted to say that. Um, so we had the babysitter thing. We had, I had my friend that passed away that I had to pay my respects to. Um, I have work. I've been working. Um, I had a family thing come up recently that uh, I had to take care of. Uh, so I had to make that my priority and I'm still dealing with that. So, um, you know, like I enjoy doing the videos. It's a hobby. It's a lot of fun it's makes very little money there's no money being made on these videos so like i have to take priority with my family first you know as anybody would understand um but i am going to do these videos because like for the like for me it's almost like an outlet to get i'm not going to like get out personal personal stuff but it is an outlet for me to kind of um 
share my experiences and share my experiences as a dad, first time dad. And that's another thing too. Like I have all this stuff going on, right? I have work going on and I'm doing the videos and I'm also experiencing all this dad stuff, family stuff for the first time. So, um, you know, it's just, it's a lot going on at one time. And I like it though. I like when there's things going on, you know, I don't like to be still, I don't like to be like just stagnant. I like to be um, progressing and learning and doing things and, you know, communicating. Uh, and one other thing, too, I really want to give a big thanks to the people that have supported me by watching my videos, commenting. Um, thanks to the person that commented on the formula video that I, I had a giveaway for Infamil. So I'm going to be sending that. I was supposed to send it Friday, but I still didn't send it. I'm going to do it on Monday. Um, you know, I just have to make sure my finances are straight because I have to package it up and, and, and mail it out so it's making sure all my stuff is taken care of but i will send that out uh and also my fisher price video the assembly one which i didn't think was going to do was going to get many views it has 800 almost 800 views 800 views it's my most watched video like watch time it's the most it has the most views and people are looking this up so i'm almost at 800 maybe i'll hit a thousand views that would be awesome i don't know who's watching that video but there's a lot of i guess parents watching it so, um, and I have plenty of ideas. I haven't run out. I have plenty of things I want to talk about. I have plenty of videos that I want to do, uh, important things, uh, and I'm going to be sharing that with everybody. So thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe. I'm trying to think if there's anything else, anything else I want to update. Uh, I've been wanting to do update for a while and I just haven't. Um, uh, my daughter, she's doing great. She's getting big. Uh, one thing I'm learning too. Like she used to sleep all the time before. Now she's not sleeping. Like she sleeps at night, but during the day, she's up. She's up like throughout the day and she wants to be talked to. She wants to be entertained. And, um, you know, I think it's, it's pretty cool. Another thing that I've learned too with uh, your child, you know, when she was first born, you know, of course I love her and I had this attachment, but I thought that that attachment was going to be the same the whole time like this, right? No, it actually, with your child, like your, I mean, it should be. Not everybody's the same and not everybody's as affectionate with their kids. Some, some parents are like, oh, yeah, I can't wait to get rid of them. You know, but my bond has been actually getting stronger. Like, it's been going up. And I, my buddy was telling me this, too. He's like, oh, yeah, man, like, your bond with your, your, your child, your children, it doesn't just stay like this. It actually increases. You get a stronger bond. You get more protective, you know. And I'm, I'm pretty protective of my daughter and my family, so... It's just, it's, it's very interesting. I mean, you know, I'm enjoying life. Um, I still hit ups and downs, but I'm not giving up. I'm never going to give up. I'm going to keep striving for what I want. You know, I really want to go back to school too. It is just, it's challenging. It is really challenging when you have a, a child, a daughter, you know, I got to make sure I give my daughter attention, my family attention, um, and also take care of everything else. So that's just my update. Thank you, everybody, for watching. In case you were wondering what's going on, why I haven't posted, all right? Thank you. Have a great day. Take care of yourself. Stay blessed.